We have new reporting tonight after the first court appearance of the suspect in that deadly synagogue shooting today, pleading not guilty to all charges, including murder. But prosecutors now revealing the weapons the shooter carried and how much higher the toll might have been. And now we know that it was the suspect himself who called 911 to report the shooting and his location. Here's ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Guppen, tonight. Everyone rise, please. The 19-year-old standing in court, stone-faced, that jaw clenched as the prosecutor recounted his alleged synagogue shooting spree and the killing of Lori Kay. The defendant shot her twice as she turned to flee, killing her. Tonight, prosecutors with new details claiming Ernest came ready for carnage. A rifle, five loaded magazines, and a tactical helmet were found inside of his car. Facing the possibility of life in prison, Ernest coldly told the judge he understood the proceedings. Yes. Ernest pleading not guilty to all charges, including arson on a mosque last month, which authorities say he bragged about in an online post written before the attack. In the manifesto, the defendant expressed his intent to send Jews to hell. The post also said he'd martyr himself for the white race, but that's not what happened on Saturday. First, a congregant chased him out of the synagogue, and then... The defendant called 911 and reported shooting at the synagogue. He gave his location to the dispatcher and said that he was armed. Today, appearing in that blue jumpsuit, a stark contrast to the teenage pianist. The judge denying his bail. Today, David, for the first time, prosecutors said they have surveillance video of that attack. That as the synagogue's school opened for the first time under heavy police security. David. All right, Matt Guppen with us again tonight. Thank you, Matt. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.